Today we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of modern smokeless powder and black powder. We'll be able to see the difference where modern smokeless powder burns and black powder explodes. We'll be showing you several different kinds of powder today. We're starting off with modern smokeless powder, moving on to black powder substitutes, and then black powder itself. You'll see in the tray here we've already poured it so you can kind of get a quick look at it but we'll get them a little more in detail. The first powder that we're showing you is a modern smokeless powder. This style is a flake type of powder typically used in either shotguns or handguns. Looks like a little little tiny little bits of flake powder. Okay. The next powder that we're showing you is a cylindrical style powder, typically found in modern rifle cartridges. Resembles small little pieces of pencil lead, if you uh, know what that looks like. Little chunks of lead there, and then there's the flake powder. Next powder we're going into is the black powder substitutes. This is a brand called Pyrodex. It comes in different granule sizes. This is a triple F powder typically used in small caliber rifles and handguns. We have the next powder. It's called uh, the Pyrodex. This is a double F powder typically used in use, uh, black powder rifles. There's a comparison of the four. They also come in small compressed pellets. These are 50 grains of black powder pyrodex. They're pre-measured so you can just drop them straight into your gun. There's no measuring needed. This brand is called Clean Shot. It's another touts itself to be a cleaner burning uh, black powder substitute, doesn't have a uh, sulfur smell, and uh, doesn't foul the barrel quite as much. We have the, mo or the uh, old black powder here now. This is a triple F black powder. Powder comes in four different sizes, from a single F to a double F, triple F, and a four F powder, which is typically used in uh, cameras and such uh, known as flash powder. Uh, we have here is a, a single F, a double F, and a triple F. This is the double F there, and this is the single F, which is the largest of the granules sized powders. These are the Pyrodex pellets being dropped in, and then this is the tray in its entirety. We have the flake powder, the modern powder, the cylindrical powder. We have the triple F Pyrodex. We have the Pyrodex pellet. We have the double F Pyrodex, another pellet. We have the double F uh, clean shot powder. We have the triple F black powder. You can see the color difference there between the uh, clean shot and the black powder. We have the double F black powder and then the single single F black powder. Let's go light it and see what happens. There's Alex about to light the powder. He's lighting the modern flake side powder first and you see how it's burning slowly. The black powder and black powder substitute detonates quite rapidly compared to the modern smokeless powder and it actually is completed burning before the modern smokeless powder which is a much smaller amount is done burning. Puts out an impressive cloud of smoke too. As you can see it almost blots out the sun. And then we can see the tray afterwards and you can see that big bunch of sooty corrosion mess there at the left side of the tray. A lot of fouling on that end of the tray. 
compared to the end with the modern smokeless powder. As you can see in the burning tray after we've done the demonstration, you can see on the right side of the tray where the powder or the tray is much cleaner than the left side where the black powder was. The reason for this is that the black powder and the black powder substitute leave a lot of residue after it explodes. It burns very quickly and therefore leaves a lot of residue. This residue is corrosive and can harm your gun if left in the gun for long periods of time. That's why it's very important to clean the gun after you use it. Also, it will foul the gun up such that you will only be able to shoot a few shots without having to clean the barrel first. Thank you for watching this video on the comparisons of black powder versus modern smokeless powder. And remember, this is very dangerous, so do not do it at home.